Ladies and gentlemen, share this segment everywhere. Probably one of the most important videos that I've done in months. Perhaps the past couple of years. I say that oftentimes, but in this case, I think it could be very true. This, this could be the most important story, especially since Twitter and government agencies silenced and prevented this saga, this nightmare for Joe and Hunter from, from being publicized. The New York Post was suspended. For what purpose? What purpose was the New York Post suspended two years ago? Well, we know from the Twitter files, government agencies, along with Twitter employees, along with Democratic Congress people, told uh, these officials at Twitter to silence and prevent the New York Post from breaking this news. This is a story of potential, like James, the Honorable James Comey says, potentially, potential graft, possible bribery schemes. You'd have to read the emails in the laptop from you know where. It's not just a laptop. It's not just, oh, personal issues that Hunter has. Nobody cares about those things. God bless him. Hopefully he's fine and like, you know, he seems like a nice person that is completely lived his life the wrong way. But the absurd, sad and pathetic excuse for hundreds of millions of dollars, a billion dollar deals for Joe and Hunter and people around them is, oh, well, you're just focusing on a laptop. You're just focusing on his personal issues. It has nothing to do with any personal issues. Nothing at all. It has to do with incriminating evidence that you could use in a court of law for felonies. Felonies. There are graft, there are criminal statutes associated with what the Bidens did or criminal statutes that they broke. And you have business transactions that financial institutions have investigated. They couldn't find anything between Deutsche Bank and Trump because that's the real estate business and Trump did not commit a crime. That's why he wasn't indicted. Hunter has not yet been indicted because he's a Democrat and he's Joe's son. That's why he hasn't been indicted. Now, they might preempt criminal charges. They might preempt uh, Republicans. Republicans have already started investigating criminal acts by both of these people, our beloved president, Mashed Potato Brains, and Hunter. But, but, what they might do, the DOJ, is they might indict Hunter on lesser charges so that they can say in a court of law, well, there's no double jeopardy and you can't just go after him again legally and Republicans are just, you know, barking up the wrong tree. They're trying to go after him again and torment him. They're going after their direct political rivals. See how transparent we are? The DOJ, the Democrats, they don't let political party get in the way of morality or ethics. See, they've indicted and, and criminally charged a hunter. Sure, it was, uh, you know, about uh, linked to the Second Amendment. We'll just leave it at that. And, well, that laws that he broke hypocrisy on the Democratic side, always. But uh, sure, it was just about uh, tax issues. The pay-to-play quid pro quo schemes are obviously there. So the indictment, the criminal charges could be, you know, trying to change the narrative, saying, look, you know what, don't look there. Don't look at what Republicans are looking at. Look at what we in the New York Times talked about here, Washington Examiner, charges against Hunter could be imminent. And Ty talks about an article from the Times, Hunter's tangled web, or tangled, what is it? They're asking for a uh, subscription. But anyway, the Times reported, Hunter's tangled tail comes front and center. Federal prosecutors could decide soon whether to indict. So it's getting close. If they don't indict him, then you're looking at endless coverage, like even greater investigations by House Republicans. So they might 
try to preempt impeachment because this is about impeachment. And the classified data nightmare is even, I mean, everything's coming crashing down and who benefits? Well, there's one person in the Democratic Party. Why aren't I 50 points ahead, you might ask? Who will be the Democratic nominee? You watch. Hit subscribe to this channel. Very important. Share it everywhere. This is a very important segment, ladies and gentlemen, because you're looking at so many political... Um, the paradigm is crumbling. The political paradigm that we've seen is crumbling before our very eyes. Trump is bad and he's horrible and, and the Bidens are, are pure as, uh, as the driven snow and, and, and Trump tried to imp pressure another country into investigating his direct political rivals. Now we're seeing that they couldn't find anything on Trump. He wasn't indicted or charged. They can't find a thing. He did not commit a crime. If he committed a crime, they would have charged him. The Bidens did commit crimes. Bill and Hillary, or Hillary, I should say, with private servers did. But they're Democrats, so they didn't charge him. That's the two-tier system, obviously. But hit subscribe to this channel every day at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. On this, on H.A. Goodman forever. We'll have... Um, Videos in the morning. I'd love to share the mornings with you, ladies and gentlemen. On your way to work, driving to work. Have a safe and beautiful day. And, um, you know, drinking coffee, breakfast. Just have a wonderful and joyful. If you're a, any, anybody watching, Democrat, socialist, communist, conservative, Trump Republican. I'm voting for Trump. I'm not bound by a political party, but I'm conservative on a lot more things nowadays especially the Second Amendment, and the First Amendment. To be conservative about the First Amendment means you want free and open dialogue and speech. And that's another thing that the Democrats say, uh, you, free speech has consequences. Yes, these laws, you can break the law in terms of the First Amendment. Guess what? Those laws existed, they predate Twitter. You don't need to enforce sensibilities. And they were always changing, by the way. Like every couple of years, oh, you can't say this, you can't do that. Oh, my God. Well, who decides this? Who's the referee of civility? Uh, and, you know, the who enforces morally superior sensibilities when it comes to, like, you know, everyday speech? It's like, it's like playing a basketball game. Who made you ref? Who made you referee? Suddenly you get to decide who's good, bad, just, immoral. Who? Why? The most immoral get to decide morality. Hollywood, the epicenter of criminality and the lowest form of um, uh, interpersonal conduct, interpersonal communications. We'll just leave it at that. Anyway, hit subscribe to H.A. Goodman's other channel, <laughs> 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. today and every day forever on H.A. Goodman's other channel. Subscribe there. That's growing. Become a member here. The membership is on the homepage. Uh, you'll love becoming a member. Um, also, uh, super thanks is below next to the like and the share button. To my Patreons, thank you. If you enjoy my work, my Patreon as an co independent content creator is so important, and I appreciate your support. And uh, go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, along The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. And ladies and gentlemen, um, this is a New York Times article that, that the Washington Examiner is talking about they're trying to get him on tax charges, which will be used as a way to camouflage and um, get ahead of the narrative that is actually true, that there's a lot more going on in terms of potential influence peddling. So they might say, hey, look, we in, we criminal charges against Hunter. It's, it's right there. And that is, that is going to be pretty overt and blatant. What takes place now is Republicans investigate 
even if Hunter is indicted and charged and they impeach Biden. The interesting thing is the Democrats and media will say, well, how can you impeach him? We've He was already indicted. Oh, look at these horrible people. It's like, no, 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 you're just indicting him for lesser crimes, S- similar to S- Sam Bankman fried Sam Bankman fried will probably get 10 years in prison and then be out in five years because he gave possibly a billion dollars to Democrats from just creating a printing press just creating money and dollar bills with a, with a, with a, a corrupt crypto exchange. By the way, I believe Binance, Coinbase, and Tether, unfortunately, will all go under this year, within the next year and a half. Unfortunately, I think Bitcoin will get to below 10000 And corporate profits, once they decline the market will come collapsing down even more so than it did last year. So I predicted all of that in 2021. NASDAQ was down 30%. You'll see that with the Dow. NASDAQ will, will decline further. When Amazon and, and, and Walmart, when they're laying off workers, that, that, that these are the gigantic canaries in the coal mine saying, wow, well, the future is not bright in terms of the economy. That's why I thank everybody. When I do the live streams, I got to thank you a million times because I do understand when you support my work that this is Biden's economy. Objectively, Biden's economy is worse than Trump's economy, and objectively, it's worse than Trump's foreign policy. The rebuttal from the morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrats would be, uh, this kind of hyperventilating emotional response. How dare you say that? Da, da, da. Being passionate doesn't mean you're right. So you can be passionate about a lot of things. You could passionately say that, um, you know, you could passionately make arguments that are just blatantly incorrect. But because you believe that you're correct. It sound, you sound confident and you might sway some people, but it doesn't work that way. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. It's like, it's like saying if you were a Sixers fan and you were trying to make the case, well, I'd take Charles Barkley over LeBron James. Well, but, but nobody would do that, though. And I love Charles Barkley. I love Charles Barkley. I had his shoes growing up, everything. But you can make that case as passionately as you want to, you still, it'll, you might convince some people. But obviously, LeBron James, you would take over Charles Barkley. So some arguments, no matter how passionate you are, still doesn't make any sense. Um, anyway, give me your thoughts below. The emails show clear bribery and pay to play and influence peddling quid pro quo that's the emails show this you would have to have people explain well why did a corrupt energy company ask for influence on behalf of their company they literally asked hunter for influence the word is influence they're right there (laughs) and then you have banking transactions that nobody can explain it's not difficult to put two and two together it is when the cognitive dissonance is impenetrable when the cognitive dissonance is impenetrable, then nobody changes their, changes their viewpoint no matter what. We see that going on all throughout with a number of topics. You can say, well, you see, what it's, it's no, 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 no. When you don't want to believe the obvious, you won't, no matter how educated or smart you are. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Be here at 11 a.m. Thanks, everybody. Huge, huge news. Share this everywhere.